Welcome back to the N4 Learning Channel. About two weeks ago an engineer asked me about having uh, the NTP service and resetting uh, the clock so it, it automatically keeps updated. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do this. I'm going to use a Mac 36. I'm currently using version 4.12 and in your platform you need to make sure that your uh, you got DNS service set up in your TCP configuration which I've got the DNS servers there, domain name servers and the gateway address set up and then of course you've got your IP address which is, this is a standard default IP address for the Mac 36 NL controller so this is important, the DNS servers and of course you've got to be connected to the internet so what I'm going to do first of all I'm just going to make a brand new station so let's go new station let's call it uh, NTP uh, new controller station next set a password password 1234 password 1234 go OK and go finish so there's my new station here and I'm just going to load that straight into the JACE controller. So platform, station copier, and then we've got NTP there, copy it across. Now I'll be pausing this for a minute while it boots up, because it's going to boot up. Next, 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 finish. I'm just going to transfer, delete these files that's already on the station and just put this blank NTP file across to the station. So that's transfer completed, close window and now the station is starting up. I'll just press uh, F9 while that's uh, starting up to pause you. So that started the station, so we're running on Fox Secure 4911 and you can see here that uh, Fox server started on port 4911. <coughs> so that's all booted up. So what we'll do now is we'll go into the station. Password 1234. just minimize this slot here so there's our NTP and if we look at the time currently so we're going to services platform service and the time is 9.03.15 of the 7th which is the correct time so, <coughs> so let's change this to I don't know let's just put this to 5th of the 5th <coughs> 5 o'clock in the morning and that's even changed the date to the 12th. We'll save that. So we're using European London uh, time zone. Because we're our summer time offset. So that's now changed. We'll just come back out of that, go back into that, and you can see it's changed there. Five oh uh, <coughs> 3 in the morning on 12th of July, which is completely wrong. So now we need to go into the platform services and do NTP service and we'll enable that. That wants to just be pool, that NTP org. I don't think that was actually in there before so it, it needs to be pool.ntp.org so that we don't need boost, uh, burst preferred and sync use local clock out backup generate no we don't need anyone at the server so that is it that's all we need to put in there we save that yes it wants to boot normal so that's now booting station shut down so we'll wait for that station to uh, start back up again. I'll put you on pause while it starts up. So 
that's starting up but you can see the time still wrong here 12th of July as it's booting up at 5.06 in the morning so the time is still wrong start it go into the station go into services platform services time is still showing wrong check NTP that's true that's true pool.ntp org server files preferred so that's right there's no issue there refresh that we don't want to generate the NTP statistics NTP host mode we want to leave on server not the server time only servers fine and we're just pointing to pool.ntp.org I'm just wondering whether I should put the naught point pool.ntp.org let's add another one and we'll put the one there there's different ones for that for, the, for that but we leave the naught one as preferred and we'll add another one that'll be two and we we'll save that it's going to ask for the reboot again for changes to take effect so we'll wait for that to boot back up again pack close let's just uh, reboot put you on pause while we wait for that to boot up so this is booting up and we still got the uh, oh the right date in there now okay so it's down to the uh, the server that I selected because that's now the right date that is booted up at okay wait for that to boot up I know I sound surprised, I must have had the wrong server address in instead of just uh, having pool.ntp.org um, I've uh, needed to put in, let's just have a quick look at that let me just uh, F9 this again to stop ok so this is the um, NTP pool, so yeah they were, they're wanting that or that and I only put in that so if you're in the UK you can use whatever time server you want but if you're in the UK you want to actually put in the zero dot or the one dot and not just pool ntp.org like I did and it's showing you a bit there in the code good so that was wrong let me just close that down that's now working fine let's go into the station and we'll see that the clocks changed in the station as well as the date config services platform service yeah so 914 914 yeah 15th and then you can also just check it's running NTP service views spy local and NTP there is true NTP service is true okay so that's how you uh, naturally the station's got to be connected to the internet but that's how you would do your NTP service and also make sure that you are using DNS servers and you are using a gateway they're just the Google ones that's just a local gateway on the same range as the IP address that's on there the second address I normally put 10.0.0.125 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 
I, I'm not using it but I always put an, another address in in case that's connected to the system um, talking to fan calls or whatever via IP I can always get into the controller by the second port and set my laptop to say 10.0.0.126 and then I can uh, go in using the uh, workbench um, on 10.0.0.125 and don't and I'm not disturbing any of the network when I'm on site so that's the reason why I use that second one but that's uh, that's done so uh, that's how you do your NTP server so if someone asks me again system clock modified if someone asks me again I'll just point into this uh, YouTube video thank you for watching bye